what really makes life worth living? Because so many people get that job of like working nine to five, eight to five. People work 40 hours a week or more and they're absolutely miserable. A lot of times they get in a job. I remember growing up, my parents asked me what I want to be. I'm like, I want to be an artist. They're like, well, do you want to be a painter or a sculptor? I'm like, I want to be an artist. Because creativity was in my blood. Whether we all realize it or not, we're all creators. Our thoughts create our realities. How we respond to situations, our attitudes, is important. So today, regardless of, of, of this program, I want you to all make a commitment to invest in yourselves. And that's what I'm doing with that. Learning, taking everything I've done, being a worldwide published artist, um, no matter what I've done, being doing makeup or illustration, somehow I always end up in the media. Just, that's just the way that things are done. Because I always have a bad habit of putting my foot in the wrong door at the right time. I don't know if like you just like sort of accidentally been somewhere and it just works out for your benefit. But just wherever you're at, use it as an opportunity to learn. No matter if it's a good situation or you consider it, like even, even in tragedy, ask yourself, you know, what, what was it, the, the Murrah Building bombing or the, the Twin Towers? I remember a story about a child that he was talking to his mother and he was so upset about this. And the mother said, look for the helpers. Look for the positive. What can you get today? I joined because Elizabeth, she's an entrepreneur, she's a creative, and she believed in me. And I see just the spirit, the gusto she brings to the table with her dance classes, her interest, not just in what she's doing, but in the people. Because we can't be selfish about this age. We're all going to have certain skills, talents, abilities, and knowledge that we can use to help ourselves. But if you take all the resources for yourself, everyone else suffers. So it's giving back, too. One of my mentors say, when you are successful, give back. In order to grow, money needs to flow. So you have to be willing, once you achieve things, to give back. And when you do that, it comes back to you. And what I'm seeing through this program, through Empowered Network, and through mentor, mentors like Jim Rohn, Zig Ziglar, Les Brown, Brendan Bouchard, there are people out there that if you have a dream, if you have a skill or ability, just get on Google. Go to the library and, and just type in those questions. Find out what it is that you want to do. Ask yourself, how do I do it? And lastly, take action. And that's why I decided to join because I wanted to be able to have a program to have facilities, because like these programs that they're including today, if you were trying to develop it on yourself, it would cost you thousands of dollars to build this through your own business. So the blogging systems, the social networking, the uh, entrepreneurial tools, the resources, because you can go on YouTube and Google and, and find mentors, but you may not always have that community system. So this brings a group of people together, and like with what they're doing today, just communicating, sharing each other's knowledge, because Elizabeth teaches dance, um, she teaches bright spirit and all that. I can teach creativity, I can teach people how to build that vision, how to just get creative and, and build your vision boards to really, and ask yourself, what value are you bringing to the table, right? What joy is it bringing to you to provide that value? Because if you're doing something and you're not enjoying it, you need to question that. You need to ask yourself, why? What do I need to be doing? But, you know, just do your research. And, you know, no matter what you're doing, make a choice. Stick to it. And even if it's just like six months, just give yourself a commitment period. So many people just try this, try that, try this, try that. But commit to something. Because there's going to be challenges. There's going to be hurdles. With every change comes a new set of challenges. People say problems. But switch that word in your mind to challenges. The words we use trigger our reactions but we also sometimes need to keep those reactions from happening and turn them into responses and that's what they call response ability the ability to respond thank you